All right, back here. There. Hey, they tried to sell me all the round scores for are fixed. Now we have the fourth place match. This is Alicia Pruitt, who qualified at plus 84. She qualified in a tie for second place. That's it. Just right. missed. <laughs> Leaving the one, two, eight out there. Uh, Alicia with a 134 average gets 68 sticks in handicap. Good pick. Ready to go. A good spare, good way to open it up. Pat Rogers, who just beat Anthony Stewart. Again, that's 44 sticks. Crosses over, hopes for the kick on the nine and no kick, so he will open up with a nine count. You know, if this was a nine pin no tap, that would be a strike. But this is a singles event. Picks it up. Through one, we're basically dead even. Uh, 44 pins for Pat Rogers, 68 for Alicia Pruitt. Ball drives to the head pin, leaving the 6-9. Four pins. Uh oh. The ball hooked away a little bit at the end. So that's an open for Pat. Alicia with a chance to widen her lead. Light head pin, light pocket, leaving me 4-7 to pick up. She gets the uh, unconventional way to pick that up, but she picks it up nonetheless. <laughs> Alicia up in her third frame. Hard and heavy, straight through the pocket. That is the first strike of the match. Pat's gonna find a little bit of work to do. Gonna have to have, gonna have to do some work and get a little bit of help. A light pocket leaves the two, four, five. Pretty common and relatively simple still. Pretty choppable too. Uh oh. Well, he got two off of that. Not quite sure how, but he did get two off of that. That's uh, back to back opens for Pat. Again, this is the third and fourth place match. Alicia qualified at. Plus 84. Pat leaves the 1, 3, 6, 9 again. Uh, last time, two frames ago now, he only picked up two of them. 
This time looks like he's got it. Oh no, the ball didn't get to the head pin. He got three this time. It's a tough break. Back to back to back opens. Uh, anyway, Alicia qualified third place with a plus 84. Pat in fourth with a plus 71. Next up will be Brian Hall, who also qualified with an 84. Almost went Brooklyn for the strike, but leaves the seven pin up. This once again was the That's What I Do singles tournament held at Saxon Lanes this morning. $65 entry fee. There were brackets, high game. There's a clean pot. Cut was top four bronze. And Alicia. Looks up the seven pin. She remains clean through four. The cut was top four for the bronze. That cut was plus 71 with Pat Rogers, who is now, we'll be bowling in just a second. He is the A bowler here. Um, and a minus, the cut score was minus 22. And we actually ended up taking the top five silver because there was a tie for that fourth spot at minus 22. That was David Holman. Alicia goes Brooklyn. No help on the 10 pin. And David Holman and other name here, Harry Evgen, both qualified at minus 22. So instead of a two frame roll off, we just let them play out the first match. So cut from, cut down to the top nine, and here we are in the third place match already. Alicia drops it into the gutter for her first open. She has 86 in the fifth though. Pat, as you see, has got a lot of work to do to catch up. But he's got the chance. That's way outside. That's not going anywhere. The, the one, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. eight so no. He definitely needs this spare. And he doesn't get the spare. That's four straight opens. He picks off five of them. Gets to the light pocket and leaves the seven pin. The winner here will bowl for second place against Brian Hall. Oh, well, we all know how it goes in bowling when one thing goes wrong, they all seem to go wrong. And that's what's happening with Pat. That is five straight opens. He now has 62 in the sixth. A good ball from Alicia. Five pin. Well, you know what they say in bowling. Nobody misses the five pin. Can you hear the other pins falling down? That is Brian warming up two pairs down. Uh-oh. Well, they said nobody misses the five pin. Nobody misses the five pin. Well, we can add her picture to that list. Okay, I'll feel too bad. It's okay. It does happen. I missed a couple myself today. Oh, okay, good. 
But you know what they say, nobody misses a five pin. Now we'll just add your name to that list. Uh, that's two straight nine outs for Alicia. She now has 95 in the sixth. Here's her seventh frame. Heavy through the head pin and she gets it to go. Her second straight of the match, second strike of the match. That, well, 30, 60, 90, 120. Uh, about does it. It's, it's not over, but there's a lot to do. That with an eight count. Just the three six to go. Hey, look, Pat got a spare. Back on it, Pat. Hey, all right. Pat got a spare. Pat got a spare. That one dives straight through the head pin, leaving the big four. Four, six, seven, ten. You know, at least he's smiling about it. A lot of people would be mad. But at times, there's just nothing you can do. He's going to go for those two. Uh-oh, that might have a chance. Good run at it. That was a good run. Yep. 86 through 8. That's 146 max. Plus his 44. Gets her 190. Oh, Pat can max at 190. Alicia. Two in a row! That does it. That locks it up. I know. Let her finish out. I want to finish my game out. Okay. I like the other bowlers. It's a choice. Couple of dominoes fall, leaving Alicia the 2-5. Now Pat's gonna get up. The match is over. No way Pat can win now. Oh, what do you know? Another split. This one's slightly easier than the uh, big four. I can pick that up. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm just finishing up. Okay. Only slightly easier than the big four, Pat. The way he has to do is has to slide the ball on the right side of the five and kick it over to the seven. Alicia converts hers. Pat picks up the five. The, the, match, the match was over before you bowled that last frame. Oh, okay. Ready to go. Thank you very much. Winner, Alicia Pruitt. She will move on to take on Brian Hall. We will be right back, folks.